Hello Taurus, Elsie here to uh, drop a read for you. How are you? I'm here just to, you know, drop a read as I do throughout the week. Um, the uh, Taurus tribe is are the biggest viewers here and so I just try and keep up with your ravenous appetites <laughs> for the readings. And so here I am to do that for you today. I hope you're well, Taurus. Uh, happy midweek to you. Um, thank you so much for all the love that you show me by hitting the thumbs up and being in the comments. I really do appreciate you. And I am your bully sister. It is my sun sign. Taurus is my sun sign. And um, if you are brand new and you've just come to the crew here, <laughs> thank you for joining the Taurus tribe. Thank you for joining Ten of Cups Tarot. If you are someone who always clicks here, thank you, thank you. So much thank yous. All right. Thanks for loving me. All right, here we go, Taurus. Let's take a look at it. It's coming up for Taurus, just the energies that be. I'm not going to date or time any of these readings. You will find it when you need it. Just reading Kamikaze out here. <laughs> All right, got one there. What else we got? We got one here that's poked up. Let's take it. Things are going already. What have we got? We've got Libra and the Eight of Pentacles. We've got Justice and the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody, somebody here is going to um, is going to get a promotion or a raise or something that you feel justified in getting because of the skill set that you have because you're you're the best at what you do and I think that somebody is recognizing that it feels like there is some type of justice that's coming for those of you who are in the workplace it could be finances yes but for those of you who are not in the workplace I feel like your justice is coming from self um, awareness or helping the self, self-mastery. Yeah, it's a transformation. So, yeah, I can read it both ways. It feels like it could be for some of you, could be um, a money thing regarding the thing that you do and being the best at what you do. You are finally going to get justice. There is going to be some type of transformation in this energy and justice is yours. And it goes on into the future. I feel like once you get the justice, that's not the end of it. It feels like it feels like the end of it. Like you've already gotten like the, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, but that's not it. Things continue to keep transforming here, Taurus. So you need to keep on your uh, you need to keep on your toes. <laughs> that's what I want to say. You really gotta keep on your toes. All right. Those of you who have been who have been uh, searching for work or have had a tumultuous time trying to find work, I think that comes to an end. I think you are going to find something that you really love. Some of you who have done a lot of self mastery, I feel like you're going to get justice and love soon. There could be someone Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, someone who who is that energy or. Uh, someone who acts like that energy and for Scorpio it's about being um, stoic on the surface not really showing you what the feelings are so if you're around somebody right now or dealing with someone who's not really who's not really showing you their feelings what I want to say is they see you being really great at what you do or that you've really glowed up or that you're taking great care of yourself this person sees you as someone who is healed and that's why you have um you know, some opportunities for transformation here. Um, it feels like with the Four of Swords in the reverse that the healing is what's giving you justice. So good for you. It's going to give you more opportunities and going to give you justice. We've got the High Priestess. For some of you, uh, the thing that you do for a living could be that you are a psychic or you read cards or you're a tarot person. Um, and the high priestess is someone who uses their their life to benefit others. They're also a seer, right? This person's really quiet. So what I want to say, that the reason that the high priestess is quiet, because she's always within, right? She's going within, connecting with self, connecting with spirit, getting the downloads, right? We have pinks and purples here, third eyes open, getting a lot of downloads. So that's why she's quiet, but she does symbolize, you know, silence, right? Not really... Um, not really uh, dealing with things outwardly, but dealing with things inwardly. I want to say, first of all, that I think that the person that Taurus that's coming, if it's a brand new person, I feel that you are already connected to them in some type of way. And you may or may not know that. If this is someone who's a brand, brand spanking new person, someone you've never laid eyes on before, you're going to have this crazy connection with them. You're going to have this really like, where did you come from? Like they're going to feel like an alien, like they know everything about you or they they finish your sentences or something like that. There's going to be some kind of really 
really cool connection that you've never experienced before. For some of you, it could be someone that you meet in the workplace. Um, the High Priestess um, is in silence, I feel, because you were in healing. Also, I feel like intuitively you know that this person's coming along, but I feel that you feel that once you get the promotion or whatever the good thing is that's happening for you here, the Eight of Pentacles, whether that's self-mastery or, <clears throat> pardon me, something going on at work, <coughs> excuse me, um, <clears throat> I feel that... Um, I feel that um, you feel that you've reached a goal or achieved something or reached the pinnacle of something. But what I want to say to you is, no, things are going to keep rolling here. It's going to only get better from here is what I want to say. Um, you are quite psychic here. It feels as though you talk to people without moving your mouth that there might be people in your life, you know, maybe this person, that you don't even have to move your lips to speak with them, that there is some sort of unwritten contract here, and I think that you feel it when you meet them. I feel it's like an instant connection that you know what to say and they know what to say and the conversation is great and it feels as though it's very healed and very intuitive. A really healed connection. Yeah, there you go. There's the star. You have a special connection to this person. It might be you have a heartstring with them. Yeah. Yeah. Because ions, no matter where they are in the Milky Way, they will notice each other, no matter how far they are away. I feel like they're, this person is someone who makes you very happy and that they are brand new because the death card is here. It feels like It feels like something had to end, so maybe you had to you know, get your justice and that you thought that was the end of it, but it's not. Things continue to transform. Something ended, so you ended something. So something else must begin. I feel like it's, um, oh, could be a Leo. We've got the, the strength card and the sun here. It could be an Aquarius. Could be a Pisces. Scorpio Cancer. Could be a Libra. Scorpio, yeah. So the sun here, I think, is giving you, it's, it's helping you grow. I think that you've just been through a period where you've had some sort of win. And although you thought that that was the end of it, I think that what you get coming up into the future is way more than that. I feel like the sun is here and strength is here and the nine of cups, like, look at that. You get total clarity. Um, you get to be seen. I feel like because you get this promotion, you get to be seen. And people see you as someone who's courageous and strong and out there and all the world's a stage. Look at me. I can take the, the spotlight. It's okay. But I think in doing that, that you grow. I think that you grow personally and professionally and spiritually. And that's the strength that you have. I think that's what gives you happiness. Tell me about the King of Cups and the High Priestess, please. What is the connection between the King of Cups and the High Priestess, please? <clears throat> we have the Three of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. What else do we have? Okay. All right. Makes a little bit of sense, right? There is a psychic connection here because you both are, you probably both have uh, some water in your chart. You don't have to, of course, but I feel like it's a psychic connection. I mean, earth signs are psychic too. I mean, it doesn't have to be water, but the water signs, of course, are the most psychic. You know what I think? Somebody's going to say something. Yeah. I feel like this person is going to say something to you. They're going to, they're, they're tired of waiting to make this connection. The four of pentacles tells me that there is some sort of a vulnerability that's going to be shown here and it's going to be in terms of emotions this person's tired of waiting to tell you how they feel they just want to tell you how they feel yeah tired of holding on to their emotions here 
we do have Leo again. You could definitely be dealing with a Leo. Um, so we have the King of uh, Pentacles, uh, sorry, the King of Wands and the Five of Wands. So it feels like the King of Wands is actually hesitating. So if we are talking about um, a fire sign, if you're dealing with a fire sign, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, this person is hesitating. It feels like there is a soulmate connection here and that there is a psychic connection here. But if you're dealing with someone who is Leo, um, Sagittarius, or Aries, I feel like this person is waiting. They're in indecision. They do. They are holding the cup here. So I feel like they are going to speak. The Queen of Swords is here. But listen, they're going to be really honest. It's going to be super honest. Ooh, look at that. Somebody's going to tell you all about it, man. Look at the two cups. This person's going to take you out. There's three cups and they're going to talk to you. That's where this that's where this communication comes in. Yeah. This communication of finishing each other's sentences and why do we feel like we're kind of psychically connected? You're thinking what I'm thinking, I'm thinking what you're thinking. Yeah. Give me an outcome here. Outcome for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I'm not the outcome girl. Y'all know that. I didn't do the outcome. We've got the Four of Swords. So there's healing between you. Four of Swords. What else? I just felt like I needed to give you an outcome. Four of Swords. Five of Wands. Two of Wands and the Knave of Pentacles, who is the page. Okay, so there is healing here. There is healing, and although somebody does feel, I feel it's, it's the, the Leo or the, the King of Wands here, um, it feels as though somebody here, even though they, they are in indecision or they feel like there's competition for you, this person is, is going to do it anyway. They're going to take a shot, yeah. The Two of Wands is you know, going back to the crossroads and finding the other path. It feels like somebody here is going to ask you out. We've got the Page of Pentacles here. The Three of Wands is in reverse. Somebody doesn't want to wait anymore. They want to begin on this new journey with you. The Knight of Pentacles is here. This has been taking forever. The Four of Pentacles is in the reverse again, which is good. That indicates lots of vulnerability. The Nine of Pentacles is here. This person sees that you're single and... Um, probably pretty stable. Uh, the Three of Pentacles is this person's going to speak to you like it's more of a business meeting. It's not going to be feelings right away, but they do want to start something with you here. They see that you are someone who is in your power, you know, taking care of your own things. You're waiting on the One Pentacle, but not really waiting. Like the Four of Pentacles says, you, you're being really honest, very forthright. You're not hiding anything. And the Three of Pentacles is that we need to um, build on it, right? We have the Seven of Pentacles and the Empress. So you're waiting on the Empress or somebody's waiting on the Empress or maybe the Empress is waiting, right? Justice. But you are going to get justice, yeah. So I feel like um, for those of you who are asking for a new person reading, I think this is a new person reading. It feels like there is somebody who is a new person that probably has Leo energy. And um, uh, it could be the others, of course, but I'm feeling Leo the strongest. And I always feel Scorpio really strong as well. So, um, and then we have Aquarius. All right. Uh, Nine of Swords. You're worried about it. Why are you worried? Four of Cups. Seven of Swords. Three of Cups. You don't want this person to lie to you about their feelings. You want it to be honest and straight up. Um, Seven of Swords and Three of Cups. You don't want them to lie to you. No. You would rather be bored in the Four of Cups and be in the Nine of Swords than have this person lie to you. Two of Pentacles. They're really juggling a lot. Knight of Wands. But they're really impulsive. They're not going to give you much balance. I think they want to invest in you, but they're not there to give you much balance. They want to give you the Ten of Cups, but they're kind of impulsive in and out a lot hanged man okay we're making a decision possibly a sacrifice all right i'm gonna go for now thank you so much taurus for coming here and watching i do appreciate you my loves you know that i do i'm gonna go for now and let's go to the comments let's find out what's going on love you guys i'm out bye bye